I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question on trigonometric functions. The question is, Tanisha holds the end of a yo-yo string and swings the yo-yo in circle perpendicular to ground. After 0.5 seconds, the yo-yo is at its closest point to the ground, 0.1 meters. After 1 second, the yo-yo is at its farthest point from the ground, 1.7 meters. Determine sine and cosine function that represents the height of the yo-yo ball with respect to time. Okay, so let us first try to sketch the situation and then we will model it. Okay, so what we are given here is, is a string which is being moved like this in a circular path perpendicular to the ground. So it goes up and then down in a regular fashion. So we can show that in the form of a sine wave kind of like this okay so let us say that is the kind of path followed by it now the question is after 0.5 seconds the yo-yo is at its closest point to the ground and that too is 0 0.1 meters from the ground and the time is 0 0.5 so we have time in seconds after one second, the yo-yo is at its farthest point, 1.7 meters. So farthest point is 1.7 meters. And that happens after one second. Determine the sine and cosine function that represents the height of the yo-yo ball with respect to time. So we have to find height, which will be in meters, with respect to time, so h of t. Now, since the difference between minimum and maximum is of 0.5 seconds, then at 0, it should have been at the maximum. And that's why I've taken maximum at 0. Okay. Now, time period for us is twice the distance between maximum, twice time period is two times difference between maximum and minimum, which is 1 minus 0 0.5. And that gives us 2 times 0 0.5 or 1 second, correct? So this distance, let me use another ring, is half the time period. This is half t because this is the distance between minimum and maximum. Distance between two maximums will be one time period, which is one unit, correct? That's fine. We also know from here that the maximum value is equals to 1.7 minimum is 0 0.1 from these values we can always find the amplitude which is maximum minus minimum divide by 2 or 1.7 minus 0 0.1 divide by 2 and the which is 0 0.8 right 0 0.8 as far as the axis is concerned, which will be kind of like this, axis will be average value. So we have axis as equals to maximum plus minimum divide by 2, which in this case will be 1.7 plus 0 0.1 divide by 2, or 1.8 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.9. So that is the axis. Now since we know time is 1 second, we can find the value of k. Let me write k here itself. So k will be 2 pi by t, which is k I am calculating. Since t is 1 second, k is 2 pi. Right, so we have k as equals to 2 pi. Now we can write cosine function directly without any phase shift since it starts with the maximum, right? So we have h of t equals to the amplitude which is 0 0.8 cos of 2 pi t plus axis which is 0 0.9. So that becomes the cosine function to represent the given wave. Now the sine function, it could be at this point or we could think about starting here right so those could be the phase shifts for the sine function 
clearly the phase shift for the sine function is always quarter of the cycle correct so quarter of the cycle here is one fourth of two pi which is pi by two so we could write ht equals to 0 0.8 sine of 2 pi is a k value t minus if I am using this value I will use 0 0.75 since this starts at 0 0.75 this is 1 correct so minus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.9 if I am using this value I could write this as 0 0.8 sine 2 pi t plus quarter of the cycle which is 0 0.25 plus 0 0.9 correct so these equations represent the situation as a cosine function or as a sine function I hope that's absolutely clear. So have a good look at it and try to understand how to solve such application questions. Thank you and all the best.